Recent studies show firefighters are more likely to get cancer than others because of the burning synthetic materials that they're exposed to. Now, thanks to a $1 million grant in Florida, thousands of decontamination buckets have been given to local fire departments. News 5's Cody Long is live tonight in Pensacola with more on what local firefighters are now doing differently. Cody? Yeah, fire departments across the state, including here in Pensacola and Escambia County, are changing their ways. They're hoping to reduce their risk of getting cancer. So now firefighters will be taking what's inside these green five-gallon buckets and properly washing their gear after each fire they go to. A firefighter's gear and helmet covered in soot used to be like a badge of honor. The uh, firemen that went to more calls, their helmets and their gear would be dirty, and that was kind of a sign of a, you know, just a hardworking firefighter out there that got to go to a lot of calls. And as you can see now, most of these guys do a pretty good job of keeping their equipment pretty clean. Captain Craig Ammons says they keep it all clean to reduce their risk of getting cancer. Escambia County Fire Rescue just got 43 of these decontamination buckets for all 21 stations. We've got dish soap, a nozzle, a scrub brush that the guys will utilize to clean up, an adapter so they can hook up the hose that's in here to the fire truck itself. After each fire, they must wash and scrub all the dirt away. There's well over 20 or 30 known carcinogens that are in the smoke that's produced at these fires. And that's all because of these synthetic materials that are so prevalent in all these homes and structures that we go into. Earlier this year, Devin Walsh told you about Mobile Fire Chief Mark Seeley's cancer. It was caught early during a free screening at a fire chief summit. Cancer is prevalent, but it always somebody else until you get that. Uh, somebody tells you that you have cancer and it's a, it really is a shock. He and other fire chiefs want to do everything they can to keep their men and women from getting that same shocking news. And other departments, including here in the city of Pensacola and Midway, got these kits. The county started distributing the buckets uh, today and they will continue that tomorrow. Live in Pensacola, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.